want to tell you, I just finished my sixth DVD, instructional DVD. This one is on uh, the uh, Mountain Man piece that I alluded to occasionally through videos. And uh, let me show you what I've got inside here. When you get the DVD, you get the DVD inside this uh, case uh, along with uh, this certificate of authenticity. I'm not certain. You can see barely see the uh, embossing that I put on there. That's with an embosser that I bought and had made for me back in 1977 and I've used it on every certificate I've ever handed out. Both get a, a receipt and a list of tools and websites where you can, or not tools, but websites where you can buy the tools that I use as well as uh, a brief description of uh, how I, I have used that embosser uh, down through the years. All right, uh, this is uh, introducing my sixth uh, instructional DVD, and this one involves the creation of a male figure that I turn into a mountain man. And uh, here you see me uh, starting to work on the armature. I show you how to make the armature, uh, how to get it uh, ready to be mounted and all that stuff, and then I start adding the clay to it. perfect form of the uh, thorax. I'm just uh, blocking it in, basically, and then I'll come back. Exact same on one side as it is on the other. Just going to sketch in the hip a little bit. Just give me reference point. I show how to get the proportions and all that stuff, and then here I'm uh, working with the uh, uh, a ta uh, kind of like a rag. I've uh, dipped it in water to get it wet to give it the feel of uh, a guy holding a blanket over himself standing in a rainstorm, and that's basically what this uh, mountain man is doing. He's uh, standing watch uh, in a rainstorm, and he's draped this uh, blanket over himself to you know keep the rain from pouring down his neck. Uh, but anyway, I'm planning out the uh, piece here, and then I'm starting to work on the uh, the anatomy of the head and the shape of the head and stuff like that. And again, here I am uh, uh, putting a rifle uh, the way I'm going to have it mounted there, just so I can see how the wrinkles look, uh, trying to decide how I'm going to have the blanket uh, I want his uh, face uh, exposed properly so that uh, you can see it. And if you cover it up with a blanket, you can't see it. This is a pasta machine that I use to uh, flatten out my clay. And I use this all the time uh, for my sculpting. And uh, it, it's really handy to have a uh, pasta machine. And then this is where I'm starting to work on the uh, face of the uh, mountain man, mounting it onto a board so I can more easily... Uh, create the face and the uh, character in that face and here I'm just talking about proportions and I start uh, with the eye sockets now I've attached the face back onto the head and just seeing how it looks and and uh, keeping it in proportion with the uh, rest, rest of the figure and this is uh, him with a fur cap on and now I'm starting to work on the, uh, the shirt uh, it's a skin shirt uh, you don't want it to uh, they had to be real careful back then. They couldn't make their shirts look too much like a particular tribe because if they did uh, and they were in the enemy's uh, territory for that tribe, uh, the mountain man's life was, uh, wasn't was worth a plug nickel. But I'm showing the construction of the shirt and stuff like that and the uh, pouch and the powder horn which is made out of buffalo horn and uh, and just showing how I've uh, created the uh, the uh, fringe along the edge of the uh, stuff like that. I've shown that in the, I show it all in the video. Uh, I don't show it here because uh, you have to pay for the video. And that's this is where I'm starting uh, a leather gun sheath that will go over the gun. Uh, if he's in the rain, he doesn't want that gun exposed to the rain. 
and uh, these gun sheaths were smoke tied that uh, would repel the uh, the weather and uh, so it would protect uh, the one thing that would keep that mountain man alive if uh, he definitely needed it. Now I'm just putting the uh, fringe on the uh, gun. I'm not putting long fringe because the last thing he'd want to do is be walking through the woods or some place where a lot of underbrush and have uh, the fringe catch onto a twig and pull the rifle out of his arms. All right, that's uh, the end of this uh, little short uh, Reader's Digest version of my uh, creation of this uh, piece. And uh, if you want to buy a copy of my uh, instructional DVD on how to create this, uh, which can be used for just about any subject matter you ever want to do, um, there's a link down below. And uh, I will also have a link here uh, where you can go to and see the other five DVDs that I now currently have on sale. All right, everybody. I hope uh, you all enjoy your sculpting, and I hope you will consider buying my DVDs. Please, just have fun.